Yeah. I go, oh, you're becoming a little camera freak. Just like me. Like Nate. She's loving it. Oh, they're they, all... They went walking on Saturday and she had her camera. They're all vintage. Hi, how are you? Just for two. Thank you. Okay. So, we will be rating everything we eat today at the Velvet Grill on a scale from 1 to 10. This is my favorite spot to come for any type of mainly breakfast. So, what are we trying first, Nana? Uh, we're going to try the split pea soup first. Our waitress is very nervous. Same thing happened last time. Okay, um, I don't know what I want. Alright, looks like we're going to be starting off with the uh, split pea soup and then the chicken fried steak and eggs. All of your split pea soup and um, you have half sandwiches? Yes! Okay, what kind? Of? Um, I don't know. The you have the turkey one? one? You have the turkey, the tuna, I think the ham, I think the ham, or the sirloin too. So it'll be all of these. Okay, let me have the turkey. The turkey? Yeah. No lettuce. It comes with fries. Did you want that or did you want to do a cup of soup instead? No, I'll do fries, right? Anyway. Uh, yes, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, can I do a cup of the split pea soup? And then the chicken fried steak. Did you want to do the breakfast again? Okay, the dinner option. What is the, what's, the, what's the difference between the breakfast and the dinner option? Um, the dinner Weird request. <laughs> is it possible to do the breakfast and instead of the hash browns to get mashed potatoes? Yeah, of course. Can I do that? Or would you like your eggs? Over easy, yes. And then you said mashed potatoes. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, it's a long day. It's been really busy in the morning, but I think it's because everyone had today off. You know, yeah, so sure. everyone came in at once. And then usually when I get here, it's like that awkward period. And yeah, yeah. Like, it's been a steady all day. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then did you want to do the can I do toast? Yeah, or did you want to use your soup for that? Oh yeah, let me use my soup for that. Perfect. And I'll bring out the soup for Awesome, thank you so much. Great service here. If you have not been to Velvet Grill in Modesto, not the one on McHenry, the one on McHenry sucks. The one on Del Road is the best. So, don't go to the Velvet Grill on McHenry, go to Velvet Grill on Dale Road in Modesto. You gotta squish the crackers. Alright, so first up, split pea soup. So far, so good. A split pea soup here is the only soup that I have actually ever had. Besides what I would expect, a mashing of peas, I don't know what else is in this. So far, I give about an 8 out of 10. Very good. What happened, then what? Uh. 
Anyway, so we have the chicken fried steak and eggs. Looking pretty good. It's a lot of gravy though. But uh, I got mashed potatoes instead of hash browns. Two eggs. So uh, yeah, split pea soup. What did I say? Eight? Eight out of ten. Really good. See how well this uh, chicken fried steak is and eggs with mashed potatoes. Not bad. So, so far it's pretty good. Strong peppery taste in this gravy though. Not a huge fan of pepper. Pepper? Oh, something about the pepper just kind of... What did you get, Anas? It's like a turkey sandwich. How was it? Good. Good. With french fries. With french fries. Check out the plate. We got the fries, we got the sandwich. And the ranch. Can't forget the ranch. Oh, girl's doing pretty good so far. Chicken fried steak, pretty good overall. I love the, but that's the morning one right now. Yeah. Thanks so much. So far, so good. Easy to cut in, not super crunchy. I would say it's about a 8.5 out of 10. I've had a lot of chicken fried steaks here, but something about a chicken fried steak in the evening just doesn't hit as hard as it would in the morning. So it would give it a little bit of a higher rating if I was eating this for breakfast. Excuse me. But because it's a dinner item right now, I'm gonna say 8.5. I will say that, something about mashed potatoes, something that's great about mashed potatoes. Okay. With the breakfast meal, the mashed potatoes kind of hit different. Not a huge fan of the hash browns or the country fried, no. What are they called? Country home potatoes? Home? Country potatoes. Yeah, something like that, country potatoes. But mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are amazing. And coffee's always good. I'd rate the whole meal, as a, or the meal as a whole, in a solid eight. It's good. I mean, if you're different like me and you get country fried steak and eggs with mashed potatoes, sure. Uh, the next time we come, I will definitely try something different, maybe an omelet or the French toast. But for the most part, solid A for this meal. And I'd have to give about a 9 to a 9.5 for the staff. The waitresses here are phenomenal. Except when they're dropping stuff in the back. <laughs> but they're phenomenal. Always taking care of us. They're always asking us if we need more water, coffee, whatever we need. Uh, so definitely nine, nine point five. Do you want anything to eat? No. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, no box room, but can I get some more coffee, please? Awesome. So nine, nine point five for the waitresses. They are phenomenal. They are, I mean, I, I get it, we're kind of the only people here right now, but even when there's a lot of people here and they still take care of us very well, and I'm sure they'll take care of you. So, if you're looking, if you live in Modesto or near Modesto, and you're looking for a really good diner to just, I don't know, 
environment's pretty cool too, but if you're in Modesto or anywhere near Modesto and you're looking for a great diner with some amazing food, great atmosphere, and some amazing staff, Velvet Grill on the Road. Not the one, not the one on McHenry, the one on Dale Road is where you need to go. And I think that wraps up my uh, my rating for Velvet Grill. Today's visit, plate itself, give it an eight. Staff about a nine, so I think it averages around an 8.5 for this visit, which is pretty good. Pretty good on my scale. What do you think, honest? What, what, what do you give it? Probably good. Out of 10? What, what do you give it out of 10? Nine. Nine out of 10, okay. Yeah. All right, Nanas gives it a nine out of 10. Uh, Not bad. 10, nine out of 10. Very good. Fried pickles. Ooh. All right. So I just asked the staff if they want to be in this vlog. And it looks like the chefs are in. The chefs are saying yes. But the waitresses are a little iffy on being in the vlog. So let's see what happens. Remember how long he's been gone 11 years, so I'm gonna you know him before that. So go ahead, you know, go oh. for it. Go all right, <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, guys. So I have the Velvet Grill cat, uh, I was gonna say cast, uh, <laughs> the cast, of course, but all the employees here, uh, for the night shift, this is night shift, right? Yeah, yeah. Night, night shift, closing shift. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's see, let's say what's up. So, who wants to go first? Rafa. Rafa. <laughs> you can just, you just wave. So this, everybody, this is Rafa. Oh, okay. There we go, there we go. Who's next? Who's next? I'm Daniel. I'm another cook. I'm his assistant. You got the cooks. You guys made an amazing chicken fried steak today. Thank you so much. And the mashed potatoes were a little weird, I know, but I'm just trying something different. All right, who's next? Who's next? I'm Priscilla. Priscilla. I'm a night waitress here. All right, so it's a waitress. Um, I'm Maylee, and I'm a hostess. Mainly night, but I'll do morning sometimes. Yeah. All right, all right. And then I'm Jocelyn. I'm a waitress at night and a host in the morning. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. <laughs> wow. So for everybody who is watching this vlog, this is the entire staff tonight. Phenomenal staff, phenomenal restaurant. If you are looking for a diner in Modesto, please come here. This is the spot to be. Don't go to McHenry. McHenry sucks. Yeah. Come to Delray. <laughs> he said, okay. Oh, so I'll, I'll scratch that out. Maybe. But McHenry sucks. Come to the one on Delray. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you too. Alright, so after I done, was done filming that vlog inside uh, Velvet Grill, the girls were telling me that they first thought I was in there because they thought I wrote a horrible review. And they said they had just gotten a horrible Yelp review and they thought I was coming in to just kind of prove how bad it was. And I told them, no, uh, that's, not, that's not what I was there for. But they got me a little interested, so I went on to Yelp and I found this review. <sighs> maybe this is it, maybe it's not, but to me this isn't, this shouldn't count as an actual review. This was back in May, May 14th of 2023. So, LOL2, Loser of Life 2, from Riverbank, California. Food sucks. Denny's, Perko's, any other place other than this is better. Terrible food, the cook should be ashamed of themselves. The Loser of Life 2 from Riverbank is a tasteless individual. I'm, I'm sorry. I can understand if they might have written a little bit more explaining why the food sucks, then maybe that you know one star review would be valid. But for the most part, LOL2, that's a horrible review. Food is amazing. Denny's, Perkos, any other place other than this is better. Man, this person must have had a horrible day. Or they may just be a Karen. I don't know. 
But let me tell you guys, Velvet Grill on Dale Road is one of the best diners in Modesto. So if you plan on going anywhere, don't listen to this one person, one star review who can't even put like a, a full name. LOL too, like really? Stupid. So go to Velvet Grill, have some amazing food. I promise you, the staff, the cooks, they're all phenomenal. You won't regret it. Thank you.